Today, on another installment of Meme Spirits, we are going to be taking some Dr. Pepper, throwing it into the little mini air still, along with some carefully selected spirits to, uh, well, just to see what the same hill happens, really. How's it going, Chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I'm Jesse, and this is Meme Spirits on still it and uh, today we are going to be messing around with Dr. Pepper. Here is the inspiration for this video. Uh, future Jesse, editing Jesse, help me out. Exactly this long ago I hung out with the guys from the Modern Rogue and we distilled some Dr. Pepper in an extremely, extremely sketchy uh, built on site in you know 40 minutes still uh, but it wasn't alcoholic at all because of course that would be completely illegal over there in America. But uh, what we did get is a very interesting scenario where a huge, extremely concentrated flavor, aroma, just Dr. Pepper experience came out right at the beginning of the run uh, and then it quickly faded away into basically water. And I've often wondered since then, I'll have a random moment mowing the lawns or in the shower or something, wondering exactly why that happened like that and would it happen differently if there was alcohol in the mix, you know, different temperatures of boiling point and all that sort of stuff. Is alcohol going to draw more flavor out over a longer period of time and give us something tasty to drink rather than a Dr. Pepper slap and then water? I don't know. That's why we're here today. So uh, I think we should stop talking about it and just get stuck into it. First thing to note is um, Dr. Pepper, well if you're in America it needs no introduction whatsoever. Uh, I don't know about other places in the world. All I know is that here in New Zealand we hardly ever see this stuff. Mm. I really love it though. I miss it. I miss it so much. <laughs> uh, anyway, to get back on track, for those of you that haven't had it before, it is, I don't know, it's its kind of similar to root beer or sarsaparilla, but it's got kind of a, um, kind of a cola, cherry cola thing going on as well. I don't know, man. What does Google have to say about it? Uh, 23 flavors. <laughs> cola, cherry, licorice, amaretto. Wow, apricot, blackberry, caramel, pepper, I don't know, there's a buttload of stuff. It's kind of not really like anything else I've ever had. I don't know, Americans that know this stuff and have drunk more of it. Give me your description down below. All I can say is the stuff really is delicious. Anyway, that is two and, yeah, let's say two and two thirds cans of Dr. Pepper straight into the still. I'm gonna keep this off to the side. Uh, actually, what I might do is throw some Glad Wrap or tin foil over that, whack it in the fridge, uh, because I wanna be able to compare taste at the end. I'm, like, I love the stuff, but I don't get it that often, so, you know, I don't have just Dr. Pepper flavor nailed in my head. Uh, anyway, this is the other part of the equation today, and uh, some would probably rightly say the more serious part of things. Oh, uh, by the way guys, if you're watching this video and you haven't seen my channel before, normally I make uh, spirits legitimately <laughs> and take the process kind of seriously to figure out, you know, how to make delicious things at home. Uh, videos like this. Today's not one of these videos, today is Meme Spirits Day and uh, that means we're just messing around. But anyway, uh, this is an all thanks run. So I collected up all of the parts of different, a buttload of different spirits that I made over a year actually. All of the bits that I didn't actually let make the cut, collected them all up into a big old keg, threw them back into a still, and redistilled it. Anyway, the reason I'm choosing this is it has a very interesting, like, ginger and kind of baking spice thing, along with a interesting, um, kind of wheaty baseline sitting underneath it, and I think, yeah, I think these flavors are going to work really well together if we can get them both to carry over. Uh, there's actually nothing wrong with the spirit. Uh, a lot of the times for this meme spirit stuff, I'll use things up that I don't really like. Uh, you know, but this one, it's actually quite nice. It's just I haven't really had occasion to drink it or a reason to drink it, if that makes sense. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I don't know, I haven't felt inspired to drink it. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. Everything's in the still. Bam. Uh, as soon as I remember to plug it in, we can fire it up. There we go. Uh, for those people that keep asking in these videos, this is the Still Spirits Air Still. Yeah, I love it. 
it does a really good job of this being very easy to use on a bench and distill things. <laughs> There's not really much more to it. It's not a complicated piece of equipment, but there is a, a link in the description down below if you wanna, if you wanna check it out. So uh, while this is warming up, I'm going to put uh, this in the fridge, get set up here with some jars, and uh, we'll let you know what the thing tastes like when we're distilling. All right, team, we're getting first drops now, and we have exactly zero influence from the Dr. Pepper. Um, it just tastes like, you know, a freshened up, redistilled version of what we had here. Uh, I'll be honest with you, that is slightly disappointing, but, but, maybe all the flavor's gonna come over later on. So, um, I guess we'll just let this ride and see what happens. Now, to, to be honest, guys, this spirit was, it was good, don't get me wrong, but it was definitely on the pot-stilled, sort of, influenced side of things. It was a little bit, I guess, muddy, for want of a better word. Uh, so I am gonna take a small heads cut. I'll probably take about three times the amount I've got here. I'll taste it as I go. It's not for safety. I'm not worried about the safety of all of the horrible things that everyone tells you about spirits. It's purely a, um, for want of a better word, an artistic decision at this point in time. Uh, it's a little bit jaggy. I think it could get a little bit cleaner. Uh, and redistilling it is a way to do that. So I'll uh, cut back to you when we're a little bit further into this run and hopefully I can find some Dr. Pepper flavor. Hopefully. All right, guys, it's about 20, I don't know, 25 minutes later. I haven't been timing it. I'm guessing it. What I can tell you for sure uh, is this is the first little cut you saw me make. This is the next stuff that came off the still. There's nothing wrong with it. It is just quite gingery. Uh, it tastes like, I don't know, kind of quite a flavorful wheat vodka with ginger in it. It's this stuff. That's all there is. There's no Dr. Pepper influence. But uh, over on the still now, I'm starting to get some cherry come through. The ginger is still here, it's still coming out, uh, but it's not nearly as aggressive. It's not spicy ginger anymore. It's more like a confectionery ginger, and it's starting to weave in with the, the cherry flavor from the Dr. Pepper, uh, specifically. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can uh, pick up a bunch of the other Dr. Pepper flavors soon. So, it's about another 10 minutes later, and the ginger's almost gone. And I'm starting to pick up other flavors that I'm almost certain have to be coming from the Dr. Pepper because they sure as heck went in this. Uh, and that's kind of a, a berry-ish, I don't know, like mixed berry, almost um, a little bit of cola as well. Dark berries, probably more like blackberry. Grape, like grape, like fake grape lolly grape soda kind of stuff. Yeah. Kind of interesting. Uh, I've just realized that probably what's going to happen is I'm going to end up going down the list and naming <laughs> all of the different flavors that I read out earlier on. What were they? Yeah, blackberry and uh, caramel. Carrot? Man, I did not see that before. Uh, anyway, I don't think that is very good viewing. So what I'm going to do is let this run out. I'm going to collect all of the stuff uh, that I do think tastes somewhat like the Dr. Pepper. Uh, combine it into one, and then we can uh, we can taste it at that point in time. All right, I have now finished the run. The uh, the stuff that came off first that I just didn't like has disappeared. Uh, this is the stuff that just tasted like the original spirit. Uh, this is everything I collected that had some sort of semblance to Dr. Pepper. Interesting. This is a whole lot of stuff that I collected in the middle. Uh, it was no longer tasting like Dr. Pepper. It was getting quite weak and watery. Uh, but I kept collecting, hoping that I would find a gold mine of really strong uh, Dr. Pepper flavor somewhere down way in the tails, or perhaps even right at the point where we hit water. Uh, but no, I didn't. This is just 100% water now. Honestly, a little bit disappointing. But that's the way these things go, right? Uh, so let's get this sorted out, and I will take a small sample and put a little bit of water in it so I'm not absolutely killing my taste buds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And this is possibly the saddest thing I've ever done on the YouTube channel is uh, put Glad Wrap over a third of a can of soda to save it. <laughs> but, like I said, the stuff's hard to get here and I only had three cans, so... All right, first of all, let me get... Uh, 
a nose on this and a nose on this. And no, it doesn't smell anything like it. As a whole cohesive flavor. But there are a few qualities that this has. Oh, actually, it's more similar on the taste. Actually, that's really nice. Yeah, I, hmm, here's the thing, guys. I feel like I've made something <laughs> that's quite tasty, actually. It's really tasty. I'm going to drink this. This isn't going to go and sit on the shelf like uh, this guy did. But, sorry, trying to cleanse my palate a little bit with water. Uh, but I feel like we failed the mission a little bit. It barely smells like Dr. Pepper at all. Uh, the flavor is more like Dr. Pepper, but it's, it'd be a long shot, man, to give this to someone blind and say, what did I make this from? I, I really don't think someone would guess Dr. Pepper, even someone that drinks a buttload of Dr. Pepper, uh, which, which is a little bit, I, well, you know what? Actually, it's not disappointing because these, these little things are, are, I mean, they're for shits and giggles, right? And they're also to kind of help me learn what flavors do and do not come out of the still, what when they come out of the still, how they come out of the still, what transfers, and just to have some lighthearted fun for once as well. And we've accomplished that. But there's part of me that's just really disappointed that this isn't like a Dr. Pepper bomb in a glass at 40 odd percent. That would have been nice. So uh, let me give you the rundown, guys. Here's what we're getting on the nose from the Dr. Pepper. Damn near nothing. <laughs> there's, a, there's a small amount of cherry and kind of this, this uh, underlying sweetness that is on the vanilla and like datey pruney side of things. That is quite similar to the, um, to the Dr. Pepper, but that's it. Mostly on the nose, it's the ginger from, uh, from the, the, the base spirit. The mouth, there's more. There's more of the cherry. There's more of the kind of candy, sodery vanilla. So funny, I never thought of Dr. Pepper having carrot in it. But I can kind of see where they're coming from on that one. Oh, by the way, all of these flavors are speculations. It's very, very secret, guys, apparently. Uh, you know what? Let's just pull that list of flavors out, and I'll compare it to that. Amaretto and almond. At a stretch, maybe? Blackberry, yes, definitely. Blackberry, definitely. Black licorice, yeah. There's a hint of it. Caramel and kind of that general candy sweetness, yes. Carrot, kind of. Clove, nope. Uh, cherry, yes. Cola, yes. Oh, ginger, okay, there we go. Well, we had lots of that. We've got that covered. <laughs> Juniper, no. Really? Really? Juniper? Hmm. Actually, I could see that. Crazy. We're not getting it in the uh, in the spirit though. Molasses, yes. Nutmeg, yes. But there is that cooking spicy kind of stuff coming from this spirit as well. So I couldn't say where that's coming from. Prune, a little bit. Plum, a little bit. Pepper, uh, yes. But once again, you know that's pretty common in a lot of spirits. So uh, and it's in this. Where's it coming from? Don't know. How do I put it? If there if there was a hint of root beer in this or a good amount of root beer in this, I honestly think. Um, you might be able to pick it as being a Dr. Pepper flavored spirit. Without it, not so much. Raspberry, tomato, and vanilla. Uh, raspberry, not so much. It's more of a dark blackberry thing I'm getting. Tomato, I mean, uh, really? Tomato? I'm getting vanilla in there, but not tomato. I guess. I guess it's got a lot of that kind of sweet that borderlines, borderlines on savory thing. Anywho, there you have it guys. Um, is this worth trying at home? Uh, if you can get a buttload of Dr. Pepper for cheap, sure. Uh, but, you know, for me down here when I actually get my hands on it, I think I'm just going to keep it as soda and drink it as such. <laughs> Preferably not opened out of the fridge with a glad wrap on it because that's just nasty. But, you know. I will drink the rest of it. Anyway, I need to say a huge, huge thank you to the Patreons. Thank you so much, Patreons. Uh, I thoroughly appreciate everything you guys do in supporting me. So thank you so much for that. Uh, also, just to everyone, to the entire community, I hope you had an awesome holidays. Uh, I hope you're looking forward to a kick-ass 2022. Man, it feels weird to say that, but uh, here we are. This is the way it is. If you like this video, please, team, hit the thumbs up. That helps me out a whole lot. 
hit the subscribe button and the notification down below and drop a comment in the comment section if you have something to say about Dr. Pepper or perhaps uh, there's a certain something you want me to distill for the meme spirits episodes. I'll catch you next time guys. Keep on chasing the craft. See ya.